Bad news out of Brussels this morning. A lot of you are just waking up to this. This is Adam at Trump Nation. I will try to pass on the information in as unbiased a way as possible. Um, I'm not going to put any spin for Trump on there, but I'm also not going to avoid talking about a certain so-called religion either, which may or may not be involved. I'll let you decide. But about two hours ago, two, three hours ago, uh, it was reported that there were two... Ins uh, I'm using, by the way, the Guardian's information of this. It's a timeline. There were uh, two explosions at Brussels Airport. Uh, then there, uh, that w the airport was evacuated. This was around 3.45 in the morning, Eastern time today. Uh, unconfirmed reports were that 11 people were killed. Um, that was citing firefighters. The early report was 11 dead and 25 wounded. Plenty of graphic images. The airport, predictably enough, was closed and flights were canceled around 4 a.m. Eastern time in the U.S. Um, it apparently took place at the American Airlines uh, area of the departure hall. Uh, apparently there also were shots fired and there were shouts in Arabic. Okay, uh, Arabic. I'll let you read between the lines there. Shortly before the explosions, it doesn't say whether if it was Allahu Akbar. Uh, but then Reuters provided this context. The blasts occurred four days after the arrest in Brussels of a suspected participant in November militant attacks in Paris that uh, killed 130 people. Uh, Belgian P police had been on alert for any reprisal action. Salah Abdeslam, Abdus the prime surviving suspect for November's Paris attacks on a stadium, uh, cafes and a concert hall was captured by Belgian police after a shootout on Friday. Belgium's interior minister, Jan Jambon, said on Monday the capture was on high alert for a possible revenge attack following the capture of 26-year-old Abdeslam. We know that stopping one cell can push others into action. We are aware of it in this case. Uh, okay, that's the information you need there. Uh, 4.12 a.m. police confirmed one dead. Again, this is Eastern Standard Time. Uh, there were obviously several more. The country went on the highest alert level in the wake of the explosions. Uh, went Terror alert went to the maximum of four. Continuing on, sorry, I'm getting you the information. Trying to get you up to speed so you don't have to deal with any spin, but they were speaking Arabic, which I'm sure they won't tell you on CNN too much. Um, the Prime Minister said his government was monitoring the situation minute by minute. Uh, that tweet said it was the high priority. Uh, there's some extraordinary video of uh, shouts in Arabic and shots being fired. Um, I'm not going to give you that. It's copyrighted. I'm just telling you the story here. Uh, oh, then there were attacks at a Brussels metro station close to the EU buildings in Malbec. So the entire metro system in Brussels has been uh, closed. Uh, then at 4.30 a.m., the Belgian broadcaster uh, RTBF said up to 10 people killed and 30 wounded in the airport explosions. Uh, there were two explosions minutes apart just before 8 a.m. at Brussels airport. One was in the departures area and one or, or near the runway. That was a little, uh, that's a little more information. And a false ceiling collapse causing lots of dust and smoke. Uh, apparently, the departures area had easy access to the public, but the runway area would have been closed to public access and raises questions about how the explosion could have happened there. Of course, there are reports that there are Muslims working uh, in the high security areas everywhere. So, I mean, I'll let you read between the lines, even though, you know, the big media is not going to tell you that. You know, David Cameron expresses shock and concern. You get the usual from world leaders. Um, several were injured, apparently. That was reported at 4.45 in the morning in the metro station blast. Continuing on, again, this is Adam at Trump Nation here, trying to give you uh, the best reporting that I can on this. Obviously, limited resources here. Uh, the airport attack was blamed on a suicide bomber that took place 4.48 a.m. Uh, a.m. Eastern Time. The whole city's in lockdown. The city's museums were shut. Um, by the way, I'll just remind you that Barack Obama is pushing to bring more and more hordes of Muslims uh, into our country, and everyone's criticizing Donald Trump for... Uh, saying something about that, you know, Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton are against hate. A uh, picture of people being evacuated from a train. Uh, four, by 4.55 a.m., the death toll at the Zaventem Airport in Brussels increased to 13. Uh, 35 people further were severely injured. Uh, David Cameron's having a meeting. There's probably a little more bias uh, toward England, um, events in England from the source I'm reading. The European Commission locked down its staff after the apparent attacks. Uh, 
the it was reported that the head of the EU delegation to Rwanda said he felt the Melbeck Metro blast in the next station next station so it was pretty powerful then a report came out 516 this morning uh, that 10 were dead in the Metro blast um, which counter terrorism officials watching and then get, getting the latest news uh, yeah, the Metro Blast was very close to the EU buildings. European Parliament president said they were heinous attacks. Eurostar in London suspended trains to and from Brussels uh, Mideast Station. Uh, the airport will be closed until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, Belgium's Prime Minister has warned the Belgian public to avoid any movement for the time being. Uh, the Russian uh, oh, there's been some bitter reaction to the attacks from Russia, writes Sean Walker. The chair of the Duma, Duma's Foreign Policy Committee, Alexei Pushkov, tweeted, while NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg is busy fighting the imaginary Russian threat and putting troops in Latvia under his nose in pe Brussels, people are blown up. And that seems reasonable. And more Russian schadenfreude came from Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova, who reportedly said, you can't support terrorists in one part of the globe and not expect them to appear in others. Well, yeah, I mean, have they, they have, let's talk about how they treat Israel. Uh, American Airlines did say, uh, this is just 20 minutes ago, 5.49 in the morning, uh, all its employees and contracts are, contractors are accounted for after the blast in the airport departure hall. Uh, more speculation that it was revenge for Salah Abdeslam certainly has to be taken into consideration. 14 minutes ago, all trains to Brussels stations from Paris have been canceled. Uh, and then seven minutes ago, Belgium's felt federal prosecutor has confirmed that the explosions at Brussels airport were carried out uh, by a suicide bomber, according to broadcasters VTM and uh, RTBF uh, reported. All right, there's your information uh, with, I guess, uh, the way Trump Nation should cover it. This is Adam at Trump Nation. Hopefully everyone's okay. Hopefully people will wake up.